Hey, so I just saw a question a couple hours ago on the Neville Goddard subreddit where somebody <clears throat> was asking a question in the context of everybody as you pushed out. Um, and basically this person was saying, you know, I have certain thoughts about other people, judgments, like my friends that are 30 years old and have only ever been in a single relationship with a single person, you know, I wish them, like I want them to break up. <clears throat> so that they have to experience like being an adult and looking for an, a, a relationship as an adult or not just having the safety blanket of like the person they've been with since they were 18. Um, or, you know, like my boss is a sexist and I really want him to be outed as a sexist and punished, like lose his job, be humiliated. Do these thoughts affect me since everyone is me pushed out? Um, and I think a lot of people uh, misunderstand the everyone is you pushed out concept. Um, for me, it's easier to think of it as ev your experience of everyone is you pushed out. Uh, the you know you're the only person who's experiencing anything. So whether or not anything outside of you is real or not is irrelevant because it may as well not be. I think it is. I think other people are real. Um, I don't think they're a figment of my imagination or my creation. But the fact of the matter is that I can only experience them through myself and my concept of myself and the world. So for that person's question, um, I responded on the thread, but <clears throat> basically when you have judgmental thoughts about other people or you have thoughts like, you know, you have these feelings towards other people, they're always coming from you. They're always coming from your set of beliefs and they're coming through your lens so if you have thoughts like that about other people where you're you know you wish punishment on somebody or you know you you have a judgment about something somebody violates it and then you sort of wish harm on them um that in itself i don't other than the unpleasant feelings it causes you at the time it's happening the irritation or whatever that I think does not affect you in any other way other than that. That's like the, the leaf at the end of the twig at the end of the branch on the tree. And the problem with those thoughts <clears throat> is not that those thoughts, that those leaves at the end of the tree um, <clears throat> cause some sort of negative effect in your life. It's the fact that the tree exists at all that causes all the problems. Um, so these judgments on other people and these negative feelings towards other people are just a distant offshoot of some much deeper, much bigger belief that you have. And that belief, though, all those offshoots towards other, you know, that are, you know, the leaves at the end of the tree that are these little things, thoughts you have, judgments on other people, there are thousands of other leaves that are judgments on yourself and judgments on your own experience and limitations that you put on your life and negative feelings that you have about things that aren't necessary that screw up your existence, more or less. So those judgments don't hurt you. It's the root belief that causes those judgments and there are so many offshoots from these deep beliefs that are held um, that are about you, that affect you. So until you get in and dig out whatever the belief is by the root, it will continue to create your life. So if you have judgments like that on other people, when you, when you have these feelings towards other people, um, like, you wish harm on somebody that itself is just in my mind is just like whatever you know all that is is a sign that there's something going on in your mind there's something in your mental garden there's a weed growing in there and it is certainly without a doubt affecting your life in a huge way you know um the things that make up the core of the lens through which we see the world um you know, there's, there's usually some big foundational things and from those spring all this other crap. Um, <clears throat> one example I have 
about this. I've mentioned this before. Uh, there are a couple things actually. You know, I have, one of my, the biggest things I've struggled with is all these judgments and beliefs I have about my appearance. How I need to look, how much I need to weigh, how perfect I need to be. Um, and I've been dealing with that a lot this year. And I've noticed a couple things. One thing is, um, I used to comment all the time on other people's looks. Almost like, uh, I don't wanna say involuntarily, almost like it was a tick, it just like happened. Like Tourette's, um, you know, there'd just be like an outburst, um, sort of. Like, you know, if, for example, like in my relationship with my ex, we would watch TV and I would just like comment on people. Like, I'd just be like, and just make a shitty comment like, she shouldn't be wearing that or, you know, nice, what the hell's up with her hair? Just like these comments with these judgmental, um, just kind of like mean spirited, just, you know, just like contemptuous remarks about other people's appearance. Um, and I noticed that as I, you know, really put forth effort and, you know, spent uncomfortable emotional time trying to sort through these issues that I have with myself and figure out a way to change them. Um, as I, you know, succeeded at that, as things got better, as I, you know, made mental connections about why I thought certain things and why I shouldn't think those things and what I should think instead and all this other stuff. And I just kind of breathed this sigh of relief about these, this core belief. I noticed suddenly at one point, wow, it's been forever since I've just like made a harsh remark about another person's appearance because it was my own judgment about appearance in general that was causing those remarks to be made about other people. <clears throat> and it was being applied to me uh, the most harshly. So it was, you know, I was the one suffering from those seeming judgments on other people because it stemmed from this deeper thing. Another thing, I had another, whatever, I don't need to get into that. I've had a lot of other, like, where I've noticed that things I used to think about people um, just sort of changed. Like, I had this... I will give one example because it's so weird now when I think about the fact that I thought this. Um, <clears throat> somehow I had this idea really that just, you need to look perfect and if you don't, you should just fucking hide in the house. Um, that was just sort of like the the feeling that I had. And I remember like my dad lives at the beach in Florida and I, I spent a few year, a few months living down there and I would see people on the beach, like highly imperfect people because there are lots of people that live at the beach that just let it all hang out. They don't give a shit. And I would just think, wow, like, I can't believe you do that. Um, you know, like nobody wants to see that. And just thoughts like that. And recently, um, in the last couple months, I saw an image of somebody very imperfect, um, lying on like a chaise, you know, lounge chair with their hands behind their head like this and just kind of like enjoying being at the beach and I felt that like uh original like the way I used to be about it sort of habitually come to my mind and then it was just like instantly replaced by this feeling of so, this is so cheesy and weird but it was it was replaced by this sort of feeling of like uh, appreciation for what that per that person must be experiencing like and how this is so cheesy how like precious our bodies are to us and our experience of life and just like these moments where you're just enjoying the moment like a sunset at the beach um like that sort of came over me when I saw this person and I was super aware of the original thought I would have had because it just kind of like came through the neural pathway and then hit a wall and I was just experienced this other thing thinking you know this person's kind of having like this moment um where they're enjoying this strange world that we find ourselves in you know with this beautiful scenery and this beautiful weather and you know hopefully health and whatever else so that's the thing that's like what happens when you start to change these root things 
all these offshoots just start changing and your whole life changes. This is why the self-concept thing, you know, which is the heart of Neville, it's not manifesting climbing a ladder. It's not manifesting money in the bank. It's changing you, which changes everything. Um, that's why I think that time spent on almost anything else, mental effort spent manifesting almost anything else other than a glorious self-concept, as Neville would say, is just, um, it's inefficient. You know, I don't want to say it's a waste of time, but uh, the biggest bang for your buck, the biggest return on your investment is always, what am I thinking that is screwed up? And how do I change it? It's like, it's amazing the outer effect changing these things has. It's, it's a miracle. Um, so that's what I wanted to say today. Have a great day.